Hi, in this snake game, we are going to use inheritance. So before you use inheritance, I want to quickly revise what inheritance is. We have already seen it. So let us say there is a class or there is, there, let us say there is chef and he has three functions to do, bake, stir and measure. So you are going to create a class and you are going to put bake, stir and measure in the class as three methods and it will be having some attributes, I'm not showing them. So now you have to make one more class called pastry chef who is also having bake, stir and measure these three methods along with those three methods there are two more methods added. Now instead of writing the entire code for uh, you know pastry chef again and writing all these three methods we can clearly say that pastry chef inherits chef then automatically all these three methods will now be inherited by the pastry chef. So this is how inheritance is going to be useful in case like uh, reusability of code. So when you write a code and if you want to reuse it again, then inheritance is very helpful. So if whenever you have, so how do we identify that we need inheritances? So whenever there is a need that the existing code in a class has to be used in other class, then you can think of inheritance. Okay. Now, <clears throat> How do you inherit? Let us say there is a class called fish and there is a class called animal. Now fish is an animal, therefore most of the attributes and methods of animal are going to be used in fish also. In that case, you are going to say fish within brackets animal. This is how you write the syntax for inheritance. So the class which is inheriting, which is called as subclass, and the class which you are inheriting, which is called a superclass, you try to write the superclass within the braces. When you when you define the class, you have to use parenthesis. It looks like a function definition. It is close to that. Okay, so you are going to use parenthesis. Within parenthesis, we are going to use superclass name. And you have to remember one thing: you have to define the init function when you are inheriting. And you have to call the init function of animal. So directly you can say animal.init or you can say super.init like with super followed by parenthesis.init. Now let's see an example. Now let us say we have one animal, animal class, a class called animal, which is the base class or it is also called as super class because we are going to inherit and now let us assume that it has an attribute called number of eyes num eyes and let's initialize it to 2 and then let us say it has a method called breathe and let us print something there print inhale exhale now fish will also breathe and fish will also have eyes. Therefore, instead of writing everything in fish again, you can directly inherit it. It is a simple example where we are inheriting only few things. But if it is a complex program, it will be very helpful. Later, we will see how to use it in snake game. Now we are writing class fish. Let us say fish is having a method called swim. print moving in water. Now let's try to create an object of fish. And let's call the method swim, nemo.swim. And if you print it, you know that moving in water will be printed. Moving in water will be printed, right? Now let's try to inherit animal. Let, let fish inherit animal. So animal is the base class or the super class and fish is the subclass. Now you know whenever you write inherit, you have to write init method and you have to call the super, super classes uh, in it. We are going to call super classes in it. 
सुपर डॉट इवेंट Now automatically, fish will get all the methods and attributes of the animal. So let's try to now print Nemo dot breathe. Breathe is a function which we didn't write it. It is a method from the animal. It has inherited it, but still we are able to call it from the fish object. Print it. Print that. Now Nemo dot ice and Nemo dot breathe are from the animal class. <coughs> now you can see that inhale exhale is printed, which is from the animal class, and then two is printed. Now like that, you can also call super classes method from the same method name used in the sub class. So what I mean to say is, let us try to write breathe method here also. And inside the breathe method, I want the basic functionality of breathe of animal, and along with that, I want to add something new, something extra. So I am writing this line extra. Doing this underwater. Now, if I call breathe, the subclasses breathe will be called. On Nemo, if I call breathe, the subclasses breathe will be called, which is going to call superclasses breathe, and it will do whatever is there in that particular method, and then one more line will be printed. Okay, so this is how inheritance works. So let's now try to use inheritance in this name game. Okay, thank you.